Hi and good morning and welcome to another live demonstration. I'm working right now on um, Super Mario Kart. And uh, if you check my page, you see that until now I did um, Super Mario as um, Iron Man and Stitch as Super Mario and Mickey as Super Mario. And I thought it's about time that I would do Super Mario as Super Mario. So I thought this is um, really fit. Um, it's a fun scene, it's a dynamic and um yeah that's that's <laughs> that's the main reason uh that i'm doing that i haven't seen the movie yet i don't know if any if you guys actually did um i don't know if i'm gonna watch it because um what does it do um i prefer watching movie at home um I think that uh, COVID changed a lot of our habits. So I don't know, guys, any of you watched it already? Um, so, and I also still didn't uh, went to the Super Mario um, Universal. I don't know if you went to see that. Um, usually I like to go on the opening, but right now it's such a mad just madhouse uh, getting ticket and and um getting in line and um uh, i mean same as disney i guess when they open a new um land but uh it was a little bit too much for me so i'm waiting for it to die down so that's what i'm doing meanwhile i can enjoy the um art so this is like almost I'm enjoying everything. So right now, um, I try to just create kind of the scene, like uh, suggesting something in the background. Um, I want to work more on the foreground, less on the background. And um, I want the color to be um, more vibrant because um, this is like a uh, really vibrant. I want to say scene, but it's more than that. I mean, the entire Super Mario world is uh, really colorful. And I still wanted to create it in watercolor, which means that it's not going to have the same saturation as. Uh, uh, thank you guys for all the likes. I appreciate that. So it won't be the same colorful. Uh, strong, uh, saturated as uh, obviously the game because this is a different medium, but uh, it's still gonna be more colorful. Car colorful, sorry, morning, early morning here. Still can't uh, talk. <laughs> so, um, still more colorful than other stuff that I was doing. And if you check my page, you see, for example, uh, yesterday I was working on. Um, uh, obviously rabbit it was um, Easter and I created a really soft scene um, really soft color and really blurry and um, this is how you help the medium or your, your tool um, help you to portray and say uh, what you're trying to uh, at your art because fan art is art and I treated it the same as I do. So you can see that I'm just adding more layers and every layer that I add, the color become more and more vibrant. I'm trying to make sure that I'm leaving this area less um, treated because it's gonna be the light source over here. So I want it to uh, be lighter. Uh, because, oh, thank you very much, Nikan. This is how you actually create uh, light in watercolor. So if I was working with acrylic, for example, I would just go crazy on all this uh, canvas and I would add a lot of color and then I would build up. With watercolor, you have to plan ahead and make sure you're not overworking the area that you want uh, 
to be in light and you just use the canvas as the highlight occasionally you can and i would show you probably later you are removing some of the paint and um, you can use just uh, opaque in order to create highlight but you see this is how i create highlight i'm just removing a little bit of the excess paint but basically yeah you have to plan so this is why i work with a really really um slow let's say uh, method of just really slowly adding the layers so it wouldn't um, become too strong from the beginning so i can add more and more and more and create the effect that i want and guys if you have any question about the process or if you have um, any request any art that you want to see uh, feel free to message me or comment or um, just check it out later and add a comment. Um, I'm really trying to listen to everyone and uh, to create whatever you want. Because after all, this channel um, is obviously part for me because I enjoy doing that, but um, I want to share it with you. And in order to do that, uh, it really helped that I know what you want to see. So that was my two cents about that. And I forgot to watch uh, the time because I'm trying to make sure that I'm not uh, doing more than uh, five, for sure not more than 10 minutes. It's difficult to download it later. Okay, so um, usually in order to create this kind of um, details, I'm using really, really fine brush. But um, I like to work a lot with the same brush. So this big brush just have like really this nice fine tip. And many times it's, it's number 10, so it's, it's kind of big, uh, round brush. And I just like to use it because I can go back and forth with the same thing. With the same brush and um, I don't need to uh, change it and still get the same effect and you see that I'm doing some kind of outlines but then I go back and I make sure that it uh, doesn't stay the line that uh, it's a little bit more blurry because you can do line um, here uh, um, with watercolor like that because I'm not trying to create a graphic and um, outline really create a graphic uh, look however if you do in the line and just make sure that the line stays um, like the cast shadows so it's not really outline it's basically just showing you where the shadow are it's create some kind of definition without um, uh, creating the feel, the graphic feel, which is perfect if this is what you want. But personally, right now, this is not what I want to do. Um, I feel that each artist has his own uh, language. I'm trying to find the right terminology for this so I, I'm gonna go with language and it's been portrayed by your uh, choices by your style and handwriting and um, this is mine and this is what make each of us artists different so I'm trying to keep that So my style is less graphic, more of, um, I don't know, I would call it still fine art because this is the method that I'm using. And now I'm going to more details and as I say, I'm doing more of the cast shadows. So I'm using this really fine brush. And if you like it, obviously, I would love to get a follow or like. 
Um, but more important, if you like it and you know other that might enjoy it, uh, feel free to invite them or to share it or um, any kind of uh, spreading the word would be nice. So I think um, I'm done for it right now. As always, I would post the final result and um, check it out later on. So thank you everyone to join and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.